welcome to a special edition of Just Push Play Ottawa, Let's Game Ontario. Today's edition, Poutine Fest. There you Actually, go. no, this is uh, number 39, Battletoads. Yeah, so anyways, Battletoads, a long time ago, released, it was like notoriously Nintendo hard, side-scrolling beat-em-up. Where's your uh, Where's your camera on this? Is it there? Oh, okay. I'm looking like <laughs> a different part of the screen. It's awkward. Like um, you're actually, yeah. This is now I'm looking at it, right? Yeah. yeah. So, anyways, uh, the marvels of technology. Like, this okay. is like this is like Ninja Turtles with like steroids on roids. And uh, I really like this game. It's really really hard. It's still really really hard. It doesn't matter if you're eight or if you're like thirty eight. This game is brutal. Hard. This game sets the standards for how, uh, for how any sort of game, it, like any sort of Nintendo game works. Yeah, it sort of sets the standard for difficulty and challenges for uh, all Nintendo games. Uh, Raises the bar, I guess. But uh, I mean, everyone pretty much can beat the first level in the game. It's once it gets to the speeder bikes. Yeah, the yes. speeder bikes. And I used like... to be able to beat it. Like every once in a while, I could personally beat it. But uh, yeah, it's. I don't know. Have you? How much of this game have you played? I think I've played quite a bit to understand what everyone's plight is with Battletoads. Mm -hmm. uh, personally, I've actually played Battletoads meets Double Dragon. Yeah. 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 The whole series. I mean, it, it's really a series that should come back. And uh, one with uh, they included Rash inside Killer Instinct, the 2013 version of the game. So. So you think there's gonna be a comeback? They renewed the uh, trademark after renewing the Killer Instinct trademark, so there's a very good chance we'll see another Battletoads. And really maybe so. with a successful TV series. Yeah, well, they have Battletoads Arcade, which also is a game, you know, one day we're going to cover uh, in all of our weeks, in all of our many games that we choose. Um, but this game in particular, yeah, super hard, great sound, I love the music in this game, I don't know if you remember the music, but the music is, it's the whole game has attitude, like major attitude, um, you know, the, the Toads all have their own sayings. Uh, when they're successful, they have the giant fists, which yeah, is like a, they, they actually, iconic. Yeah. They actually called them in the uh, in the uh, failed TV pilot um, smash attacks. Oh really? Yeah, yeah. Because when they hit, it's a smash. Yeah. But uh, it's it's definitely one of those games that everyone pretty much remembers if they grew up with like the NES, you know, era. Yeah. Again, this is a fair that all Nintendo hard games should follow. Maybe not to a degree where it's notoriously difficult because there's like levels where it's like you're you're climbing down the, the uh, what is it the uh, chamber oh, yeah, and then like the you're on ropes and yeah, if you hit it's each other you actually hit each other yes it's so cool, not to that degree it's not very but like it is very hard it, it, yeah. it makes co-op like why is it even an option well it just it makes sure yeah, there you go like co-op shaking the screen man yeah this is actually a it's self, like being in battle this, this is actually a stealth sequel to uh, the the uh, the cinematic universe of uh, Project Blair Witch and Cloverfield. Yeah. Well, we didn't actually say we're on we're on a double decker bus. So yep. Here. We're on a double decker bus. Um, there you got it. That's the camera. Poutine, and I forgot the name of this place. Crap. Uh, it's Mark Street. Spark Street, yes, but this shop in particular, this, this is a poutinery that doubles as a restaurant. Double decker poutinery. Yeah. Yeah. It's well known though, so if you know what we're talking about, it's name dropped. You can name drop it right off the bat. Tag it. It's on the tip on my tongue. The double decker poutinery. Hashtag double decker poutine. Yeah. So, uh, you know what they need to do? Poutine, cheese curds, Poutine cheese curds, double decker poutine. <laughs> they should make a battle to its poutine. Well, yeah, you can put you can put duck on it. You can put a uh, frog on it. Frog legs as the French fries. <laughs> that would be awkward. I would totally not eat that. So be perfect. Only the most serious of evil <laughs> yeah, bad the guys, like poutine lovers. <laughs> Anyways, about the game. Um, it plays like, you know, a pumped up, more exaggerated beat Ninja up. Turtles. Yeah, it's a beat-em-up. And, I don't know, I, 
it's one of those games that I kept trying to beat it. I got to like the third level. I think there's only like five or six if I remember right. But it's that hard and like it's, it's almost impossible to uh, to do that. So to beat the game, unfortunately. Some people have done it. I don't know how. It's like a miracle. <laughs> it's called speed runs. Yeah. Yeah. We're glitching the game. But uh, what else should we cover? We covered the music's amazing. Uh, the controls are pretty good, but uh, moving the speeder bikes is really tough. The surf stages, oh my god, the surf stages are so hard. I, I only, like, three times in my whole life have I ever gotten to that surf stage. And, uh, yeah, that, that's pretty much it. I don't know. I don't know if there's really much else to say. The game's really hard. I love it. Really but hard. It's like notoriously hard. hard. You're like replaying the first level uh, like a thousand times. And unfortunately, it's one of the few game franchises that are that are just in between alive and dead. It's well alive in the yeah, form of a uh, crossover, but it's dead in the fact that there's not actual game. There, there hasn't been a new game in. Whenever like, the double dragon game like was. I don't even care if, like I don't even care if they bring it back a la um, Bionic Commando and make it like a gritty reboot where the frogs are some genetic experiment. They made Rash have a lot of attitude in the Killer Instinct. Oh no no no! I, I'm saying like no, attitude is just camp. I'm talking like pure angst. Like Rash is going, my parents are dead. I must avenge them by being a battle toad. I must cry about the fact that I'm a battle toad. My tadpoles. <laughs> my tadpoles are dead. <laughs> Oh, that's that's like Darth Vader in the Star Wars. Uh, we finished. I finished that last night with a buddy. Um, oh yeah, the backstroke of the West. Backstroke of the West. Right at the end, it's like does not want. <laughs> oh, there's so many great quotes. Like Obi Wan shows up on the planet after he pretended he sent a spaceship away, and he shows up and he's in the middle of the battlefield. He's like, everyone is happy. <laughs> it's like yeah, no. Obi-Wan, no one's happy that you showed up. Like, all these enemies are probably royally peed because you're Obi-Wan. Yeah, but, this, uh, this, yeah this, is, this is actually a stealth review of Backstroke of the West. Yes. It was funny. The last bit of the movie, the last 15 minutes, isn't as funny, but there's some really good lines. Like, I'm not even going to say them. They're so bad. Yeah. <laughs> like, they're really bad. But you know what is a really meme-worthy line that should be meme-y? Let's get warty. <laughs> That's actually a line that the battle toads say. You know, it was supposed to be their turtle power or cowabunga or buyakasha, but um, ultimately it didn't take. No, but people love still love the game, so there you go. Yep. And yeah. I think I think that's it. I think that's it. You know, the game's super hard. They tried to make. They thought of Ninja Turtles when they designed it, and on Roids, which was made the game have its attitude and like spirit. I think that's what really was the foundation for the whole game. Yeah. And music's amazing. I still love like the music. People still and uh, yeah, the characters should really come back. So hopefully whoever has the rights Microsoft Reboot when. Yes, please please reboot Microsoft. You can reboot Spider Man like twenty five hundred times, why can't you just reboot Battle Toads? Once? Yes. Go for it. Make it happen. I please. Alright, you're done? I'm done. You right. done? Yes, I'm done. I need to eat food. Let's eat food. Bye bye. Alright, keep on gaming guys. Keep on gaming. Adios amigos. Bye.